listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. And to your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Together as a parish family, 
on Tuesday, November the 15th, we will begin a 40-day journey. We call it the Phillips Fest, the Advent season, which is a time of prayer, fasting, and works of mercy. A time of preparation for the coming of the Savior, a journey to Bethlehem. Now the question is, how can we tie in all of these three topics? Can we? And the answer is yes. By applying the lawyer's question to Jesus. Prior to hearing the parable of the Good Samaritan, the lawyer asked Jesus, And who is my neighbor? My friends, as your parish priest, I strongly believe, I strongly believe that this is a question we must ask ourselves in light of what's happening, in light of the election violence, in light of two officers getting shot in nearby Cannonsburg, one being killed and one being seriously wounded. In light of what is happening around us, number one, we are not to ask who our neighbor is. We are to be a neighbor. We are to be a neighbor. Basically, in this conversation, in that dialogue between our Lord and the lawyer, our Lord, he changed that question from what kind of person is my neighbor? He changed that question to what kind of person am I? What kind of person am I? And there is a story of a preacher down in the south. He got up on the pulpit and he quoted our Lord's words, love your neighbor as yourself. And then to emphasize the point, he asked three times with increasing intensity, who is my neighbor? Who is my neighbor? Who is my neighbor? And a little boy sitting in the pew quietly answered, Mr. Rogers, Mr. Rogers, <laughs> Mr. Rogers. My friends, yes, throughout our history, even here in Pittsburgh, in Pittsburgh, we had a good example of someone who was teaching us who is our neighbor. Mr. Rogers, yes. But in the history of the church, we have great saints like John Chrysostom, who wrote many homilies on who is our neighbor, who wrote plenty of homilies on compassion and love for one another. In modern history of the 20th century, yes, we had St. Maximilian Kolbe, who gave his life for his neighbor in a concentration camp in Auschwitz. We have a great saint like Saint Mother Teresa, who throughout her life served quietly in humility our neighbor. But we must remember number two, to be a neighbor is to show compassion, my friends. And after Jesus told this beautiful parable, this story of the Good Samaritan, he asked the lawyer one question. He said, my friend, which of these three do you think was a neighbor? And here the lawyer answered, the one who had compassion on him. The one who had mercy on him. But if you think about it, if you think about the relationships back then between the people of Israel and the Samaritan, and you know from previous homilies and studies that there was anger, there was hatred between those two nations. The lawyer, yes, he gives that obvious answer to Jesus' question. 
even though he, can, he cannot bring himself to saying the Samaritan. It's like being a, a Pittsburgh Steelers fan and saying the, the, the Cleveland Browns. But in response to that answer, Jesus says to him, and he's saying to us today, my friend, well, go and do likewise. Go and do likewise. Let us remember on this Sunday that it is the need of, of the neighbor and not his nationality that is important. And from watching TV nowadays, I can say it is the need of our country and not political parties that is important. It is the need of our neighborhoods and not violence that is important. But what is needed is love. What is needed is love. Because as we can see in the actions of that Good Samaritan, love that comes from the heart responds with the hands. Love that comes from the heart responds with the hands. The words of John Chrysostom. So here we come to our final point, number three. And it's a tough one. Because even my enemy is my neighbor. Even my enemy is my neighbor. Because there is no loophole in the command to love one's neighbor. There is not. And the legacy of the Good Samaritan for us today is what? Is to show compassion to anyone who is in need. So my friends, as we stand before the Advent journey, the Phillips Fest, this story of the Good Samaritan is not just a story. It is a beautiful parable, but it's not just a story that we hear one day and we forget about it. Oh no. It is for you and for me a direct itinerary, a direct way in which Christ is calling us as a family. Christ is calling us to be and to how to be and how to treat one another in our journey of faith. Amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. Amen.